Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching Smilepedia. In this video we want to share about everything that we know about BL movie The Cornered Mouse Dreams of Cheese, 2020. The Cornered Mouse Dreams of Cheese is a Japanese movie written and illustrated by Setana Mizushiro and Anhorizumi. This BL movie directed by Isao Yukasada. This movie based on manga Kyuso wa Chizu no Yumi Womiru by Setana Mizushiro, published February 20, 2006 by Shovakukan. Release date, September 11, 2020. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, the movie's release date was postponed from its original June 5, 2020 release date. Movie runtime, 130 minutes. Synopsis and storyline. Okura plays Kyoichi, a handsome, successful professional who's also self-centered and cripplingly indecisive. He certainly doesn't look like a mouse, but in his relationships, including his frosty marriage, he has a habit of scurrying off at the first display of real affection. Even though he is married, he repeatedly has affairs. When Wataru, Narada, a former university pal turned private investigator, shows up at Kyoichi's office and produces incriminating photographs of him with a paramour, the businessman tries to strike a deal. But Wataru only has eyes on getting into Kyoichi's pants, and after encountering some initial resistance, he finds he's picked a willing mark. Kyoichi's attempts to save his marriage end up coming to naught after his wife reveals he wasn't the only one being unfaithful, and he moves into a minimalist bachelor pad that's more amenable to having a live-in male companion. However, the intimacy he starts to enjoy with Wataru isn't without complications. The professional sleuth shows no qualms about prying into Kyoichi's personal affairs, while the latter can't seem to quit his womanizing. After a chance reunion with an old college girlfriend forces the situation to a head, Kyoichi is drawn into a relationship with a young co-worker, Tamaki, Shiro Yoshida. All the while, the two men continue to tumble in and out of bed with each other without ever quite coupling up. Movie Review I have to say that this adaptation is the best Japan made so far. I love it. Even though the ending is not our ideal, but it is close to reality, it will brodain your mind. Also, I did not expect narrator Ryo and Okura Tadayoshi would be so good at this. I am so convinced. I enjoy watching. My heart stops many times from the beginning. I've read the manga on which the movie was based, it's one of my favorites because the main characters in it were incredibly flawed and insecure people but their insecurities and worries were just so relatable and understandable, I found myself immersed in their characters and in their story. Now, as an adaptation of the manga itself, I'd give this movie a 65% score in terms of its closeness to the original work i.e. it was generally faithful in broad strokes and in some detailed places, but there were still fairly noticeable differences, especially in terms of character vibe and personality and in some event modifications. They also cut out quite a bit of the relationship progression arcs and conversations. Hence, I can understand why fans of the manga might feel disappointed or dissatisfied with this adaptation. If you're not too put off by the disappointing adaptation or by the fickleness and weirdness of the characters, I'd like to encourage you to consider re-watching because I personally found that I understood a lot of the hidden and subtle messages and scenes better upon a re-watch, and that made the movie even more fascinating and interesting to me. The movie might feel a bit abrupt and truncated vis-a-vis -vis the manga but it's still a complete cohesive piece and I found the choice of certain scenes, and the way the whole thing was directed gave this movie a very different style, tone and story from its original work, and I personally appreciated its almost indie-like feel. So as a super fan of the original manga I was really looking forward to this movie and my view may be different to others who will view this movie, e who have not read the manga or fans of Narada and Okura. I am also quite the fan of Narada Ryo, man that can do no wrong. Overall I am disappointed. Basically I think the movie lacks the emotional impact and attachment from the main character Kyuichi. I was emotionally attached to Kyuichi in the manga but in the movie not so much. The movie lacked a lot of the emotional drama from the manga, to me it felt like a slice of life movie with various scenes slash events playing one after the other. But I can't help to bring myself to hate this movie because I love the original manga that much and I still think the acting, production, direction value is still really good. Such a good movie. I don't know why, but I was really surprised that it was so good. Felt so many emotions throughout the whole movie. The acting was on point and the casting choice was perfect. It has an open ending which is the only thing that frustrated me a little, cause I would have loved to see them being together in the end, even though I believe they will cause they keep longing for each other. But one doesn't know how to handle his feelings and the other can't get enough. I hope what I wrote made sense cause English is not my first language. Overall a 9 out of 10.
So, have you watched this BL movie? We'd love to hear your thoughts so make sure to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss a single video from this channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.